Now, another feature that splits the two phone apart is what was made exclusive to the iPhone 4S. And to be quite fairly honest, still today, even after the iPad 3 is still exclusive on the iPhone 4S, is Siri still in beta mode. Um, on the iPhone 4, if you were to press the middle button, the home button down, what you would normally get is your crappy voice control that no one really uses and if they do they'll see the po what's the point of that so we've got that there out of the way but if you were to use the iPhone 4S however and you were to press down the home button what you would get would be Siri now oh there we go oh. what would you like to search for I like to search for nothing. Searching for I like to search for nothing. <laughs> There's an example of it there. So I mean, it will go, you know, it, it's not bad. It really is not bad for being in beta mode as well. So, you know, you could just type there and ask it to search for something in particular like it just did there. And it will go onto the internet and look for what you, what you're, what you want to look for. Um, I'll give you more of a demonstration of uh, the use of Siri. What is the weather like today? Here's the forecast for today. What is the weather like in Australia? Sorry Isabella, something's gone wrong. Can you try that again? Isabella is uh, my wife, so because this is my wife's iPhone 4S. Um, what is the weather like in Australia? Sorry, Isabella, something's gone wrong. Can you try that again? Okay, let's try something different. What is the weather in Paris? Okay, here's the weather for Paris, France today. Okay, I guess it works for Paris. Maybe it's the way I've said it. I mean, again, you don't expect anything like super highly intelligent here. We're talking about, you know, basic little stuff. One function that is going all over the place with Siri is people think it can find your local areas. Like if you're looking for restaurants or your local pub, a certain local shop, it doesn't technically work outside of the United States. So it's only in America. I'll give an example of that. What is my closest restaurant? I can only look for businesses in the United States. And when you're using US English, sorry about that. So there, so location wise, it's not, it's not really compatible yet outside of the United States of America. But again, um, my, um, my missus has told me, you know, she use sometimes you can use it to send text to a certain person, um, but you don't really use it quite a lot. That's the thing. It's great if you listen to your music in your headphones and then you just say, Look, Siri, I'm going to send a text, send a text to this person, give the name, give the number, it will send the text, it will even read it back to you. So it's great in that aspect, but apart from that, you know, at this stage, I, f I still think it's got a long way to go. It has the potential of doing a lot more. Um, but, you know, it's still quite a bit to go. Uh, I'll give you another last test. You know, just a common conversation. What is your name? My name is Siri. How old are you, Siri? I am not allowed to answer that question. Why are you not allowed to answer that question? Checking my sources. Okay. How about a web search for why do not allow to answer that question? Why don't you go to sleep? I don't know what you mean by why don't you go to sleep? Do you love this is about you, Isabella, not me. My name is not Isabella. Sorry, 
I don't see the Isabella in your contacts. Can you try again? You're stupid. I don't know what you mean by you're stupid. I don't know who the Isabella is. Can you try again? Go to hell. Isabella, I don't understand. Go to hell. So. That's an example of it going completely stupid. Now, the reason why I keep thinking I'm Isabella is because, like I said, um, I brought the phone for my, um, for my wife. Is because in your general settings, you could actually... There's a few things you need to do to set up Siri. So Siri doesn't really take off on its own. I'll just demonstrate to you there. So if you look close there, you've got a Siri option there. And if you go on that, you could put Siri on. And then you've got the language, voice feedback, and then you've got info. So under info, you put various certain things on there that uh, Siri will recognize and will know. So, you know, to set yourself up where it only speak to you and recognizes you. But um, as I said, apart from that, that's all you're really getting from the iPhone 4S. Um, one, me personally, to be quite fairly honest, between that and the iPhone 4, reason why I didn't update for myself is because I'm quite happy with my iPhone 4. Even without Siri, I'm still happy with it. The camera, it's okay, it's not great. Video recording, it's pretty decent. It's a pretty decent phone. And um, if you already have an iPhone 4S, I wouldn't really advise upgrading to the iPhone 4S. One thing I have to make it clear, I mean, I've had these phones, I've had them for a while now. And um, I don't have any battery problems with my iPhone 4. Excellent battery life. Excellent. I use it a lot. And my, battery, my battery life is great. Unless you have Wi-Fi or something, it's going to... You know it's gonna really use it up, but still the battery life on the iPhone four s is or iPhone four sorry is excellent on the four s however, oh my god, um I've recently updated it to five point one before all of the other updates that Apple claim to be um you know to to be the fix of that battery drainage that you have on the iphone four s it's still exactly the same. You'll be lucky to have a full use of a day's battery with this phone. Maybe what you'll get is half a day with this phone. If you text in, if you were to play your music, just little basic stuff, the battery life will die. And near the end of the day, so you know, you go to work from 8 on to say like 4 o'clock, between say maybe 1 or 2 o'clock, I'm really not exaggerating, you're going to have to charge it. Now I'm going to return it back to Apple and uh, maybe there's a fault with the iPhone 4S because the 5.1 update was supposed to make it better but every update seems to make uh, the phone go a lot worse as you can see here 5.1 you just need to slide up and uh, that will give you like the camera to record and everything else software is great but that is the main issue with the iPhone 4S the battery life is Pathetic. That's the only way I could put it. Personally, you know, I'm an Apple fanboy. And to me, I love my Apple products. And I don't really think it justifies updating to the 4S. You know, unless you have an iPhone 3G, 3GS, okay, go for the iPhone 4S. But if you have an iPhone 4, I think you're better off waiting for the iPhone 5 where... The issues of the iPhone 4S will significantly be fixed. It will be a lot faster. You know, it's going to be a new innovation. You know, so you're better off sticking to your iPhone 4. So you've got an iPhone 4. And uh, if you don't, then go ahead with the iPhone 4S. But don't expect the battery to be that great.